Hi everyone, in this particular video, we'll discuss about one of the most interesting and probably one of the most scoring uh, units from UGC net commerce point of view. Okay, uh, we have already seen that there are many units uh, in the syllabus of UGC net commerce. Uh, we have basically jotted down into 10 units and in this particular video, we'll be heading towards uh, income tax and corporate tax planning. Okay. Uh, many of the students do fear uh, in terms of income tax or taxation as a subject, but honestly speaking, uh, if you go through it once, then you will find it, it is one of the most sorted uh, subject that you can go and learn and at the same time have a grip over that particular topic and score well in your UGC net commerce exam. Okay. okay. Now let's move in and have a look at all the details about this particular unit known as income tax and corporate tax planning. All of you are already aware about this particular subject. Okay. And all of you have already gone through majority or I would rather say almost the entire content, uh, maybe once or twice in your undergrad or postgrad put together. Okay. However, uh, most of you, uh, might not be liking this particular subject, whereas there are many who, who like uh, income tax or tax planning subject to a certain extent key, they want to have a career in taxation. Okay, having said that, now let's move in and have a closer look at the particular details about this particular uh, slave, uh, this particular unit from UGC net commerce point of view. Okay. So basically they have divided this tables uh, in four parts, okay, wherein the very first unit focuses on the income tax part, okay. Income tax part wherein they would be, uh, pro, they, they would be asking you uh, right from the very scratch or very basic level, exactly from the level key, what exactly tax is all about, what are the basic concepts of tax and then income tax, and like as mentioned over here as well, they would also be interested in asking your uh, the residential status from income tax point of view and tax incidents. Okay, and at the same time, we can also see the exempted incomes like one of the and they have also mentioned in the next point as well the agriculture income, which is uh, one of the most sought after uh, income from exemption point of view. Okay. And then they are also asking in terms of computation of taxable income, okay, which is the crust or the most important part of uh, income tax as a subject, because at the end of the day, uh, you are calculating everything to find out the tax. And to, for that, you need to know what exactly the taxable income is. And for that, they are asking you for computation of taxable income under different heads like salary, house property, PGBP, other sources. Okay, so all the, all, the, all the heads would be there and then you need to kind of find out the final taxable income. Okay, and then again, the reductions from the total uh, gross total income as well, the assessments of individual and the clubbing of incomes. Okay, so uh, now once we have just gone through the very first part or the very first section of this particular unit, which is which focuses only and only on income tax. And going by the content, we can easily see that somewhere or the other, maybe in, uh, but, but of course, in the starting from the undergraduation level itself, you must have gone through it. Okay. Uh, if not completely, then uh, maybe to a certain extent, you already know these terminologies, you already know procedure for these, okay, or somewhere or the other, you must have gone through and learned different aspects of income tax, okay. So uh, that is the reason I was emphasizing on key, it's one of the most scorable subjects or the topics as well from UGC net commerce point of view, okay. 
Now coming to the second part or the second section in this particular unit, which is known as international taxation. Okay. Uh, I have myself worked in transfer pricing for Deloitte, Haskins and Sales. Okay. So I know how, uh, how exactly the things work out when we talk about international taxation. Okay. And to give you just a small brief, then the international transaction uh, taxation, which you have learned or gone through in your undergrad or in your postgrad, the concept which have been told you, which have been mentioned to you, or different aspects of international taxation, uh, they aren't exactly the same which you do professionally when you go out in any organization. Uh, having said that, that's uh, that's almost with all the all the professions as well. That what we learn in our undergrad and postgrad, they aren't. Uh, uh, I won't say exactly, but they aren't even majority in terms of majority are similar to what exactly we go out and do in the or any of the organization. Okay, so now coming back to uh, this particular international taxation. So it is uh, it, it, it's this particular section in, in itself can be your profession going forward. Okay, and honestly, it's a fact. Uh, you can be a analyst in transfer pricing. You can you can actually uh, lead and be at the level of a, of a partner in this particular domain. There is a huge demand, especially among the big fours. Okay, so that is uh, that is one part related to this particular section, and all of you uh, must have heard about it. Okay, about transfer pricing in particular, but not many of you would have gone in depth. And when I say in depth, to know more than what exactly is required uh, in your, let's say, undergrad or postgrad level, because when, when a particular section or when a particular topic or domain is very interesting, you need to just dig in and found, find out even more. Okay, so uh, now uh, you must have heard about... Uh, double taxation okay and in this particular uh, transfer pricing there is one principle known as arms length principle which is like the uh, wherein the entire transfer pricing holds on to okay so this is uh, again uh, one of the most in, uh, interesting and uh, scorable sections as well from this particular unit uh, then coming to corporate tax planning, again, that would be related to the corporates, okay, and they would be asking you from concept, very, again, basic level from concept significance of corporate tax planning, and what exactly there is, uh, what exactly the difference is between the tax avoidance or tax evasion, okay, and what are the different techniques of corporate tax planning, which uh, corporates can use and to save billions on tax money to be paid okay and then there are certain other decisions like make or buy decisions okay then uh, many corporate houses are in a dilemma that whether they should actually produce this particular product okay or they should rather buy it and so basically the, over here it's not only uh, but this particular part we would be considering from tax point of view because usually when we talk about make or buy decision costing is also or i would say rather one of the most important factors but equally we can say that tax planning also makes a substance substantial amount of uh, uh, interest in this particular decision okay so similarly you either loan or lease an asset okay and all these points we are talking from taxation point of view not from cost point of view in this particular unit okay and then you also have your renewal or replacement of an asset whether you should cut down uh, shut down a particular unit or you should rather continue the operations okay uh, again from tax corporate tax planning point of view because we must have heard all these scenarios, these decision-making procedures from cost point of view as well. But in this particular unit, we are considering from tax point of view, okay, of corporate houses. Now, the last particular unit, which is your deductions and collection of uh, tax at source, you have uh, uh, the, the point which is mentioned here, known as the advance payment of tax, okay? If there are certain, uh, individuals who are required to 
pay tax in advance if their tax liability exceeds a particular amount okay so that this particular concept is for those and then you have your e-filing of income tax returns so okay so over here we now will stop and then in the next video we'll continue a little bit about these particular topics okay so see you in the next video thank you